Hello everyone. This is going to be a video outlining the features and functions of the BNVD 1431 Mark II. This here is my personal BNVD 1431 Mark II. This is the Canadian version of the 1431 Mark II. Um, it can be identified by the improved uh, body screws and this custom plate right here uh, that says Op4 Night Solutions Corp 1431 Mark II Canadian Custom. The BNVD 1431 is a full-featured articulating binocular goggle system, meaning that the tube pods can be individually articulated up or down like so, so that they, the uh, pods can be stowed closer to the helmet. Or if you're just using it, you can flip one up to you know look past and like uh, um, read, read something on your phone or whatever, and then flip back down. First thing you want, you're gonna wanna know is how to install the battery. So this here is the battery cap and you just twist it to remove it. I recommend using lithium batteries. Um, I like to use Energizer AA lithiums, but here we're gonna use an alkaline battery just to demonstrate that it'll work with uh, any crappy battery. This here is the power button and it also serves as the gain control. So to turn it on, you just press the power button once. You'll feel a click and it'll power on. To turn it off, you hold the power button for about two or three seconds and it'll power off. What I recommend is if it's not in use, I actually like to disconnect the power and to disconnect the power, you actually can just turn the battery cap out half a turn um, because it'll disconnect the plate from the uh, uh, battery compartment cylinder uh, so that if, even if you accidentally press this button uh, while going through the forest or whatever, it's not going to accidentally turn your night vision on and potentially damage your tubes. If you are using a battery pack, um, such as the Argus Universal Strobe Battery Pack, um, it uses a Fisher connector that will only plug in one way, and you just plug it in here. It's the same as having your battery connected and the power button still works. Uh, as normal. The only thing that you'll notice is um, it'll have the same problem as the real PVS31 where because the battery connect, sorry, because the external power cable is here, um, if it's plugged in, this pod will only flip up to about this point instead of all the way like that because the, uh, the plug is in the way. The power knob doubles as a manual gain control, so you turn it this way to turn gain down and this way to turn the gain back up. The manual gain is compatible with uh, 3 pin 10160 variable gain tubes as well as uh, 11769 pigtail tubes. Um, the variable gain 10160 tubes are a, a simple drop in fit, uh, whereas the 11769 tubes will require some modification and soldering. Um, there is no gain memory on these, so, for, so if you um, turn the gain down and turn them off, it's not going to turn on at minimal gain, it's going to turn back on at full gain. The BNVD 1431 Mark II comes with a built-in infrared illuminator. It is located right here. Um, to, to activate it, you turn the unit on, and then you give the power button a double tap, and a red indicator light will pop, will pop up twice, uh, letting you know that the infrared has been activated. So I'm going to give it a double tap. Sorry, you, you didn't quite see that, but there we go. Now you saw that. I just turned it on and off. Um, so yeah, that's how you use the infrared illuminator on it. It also has a function um, that will automatically turn the unit off when stowed. So um, if this is the vertical position and uh, you run the goggle system like this, when you flip it up and it goes past the vertical position like, like so, it's going to turn off um, the goggle. It'll, it'll power the tubes off, but the unit is still on. Uh, but as soon as you lean your head forward or you flip the goggle system back down and it goes uh, past the 90 degree um, position again, it'll power on again. I personally don't use this feature. Um, I don't think that any auto on or off feature on any goggle system is reliable enough to um, bet that I'm not gonna burn, off, burn out my tubes if it accidentally turns on. Um, and to be honest, I, I just like to have the manual control and turn my unit off when it's flipped up. Uh, I don't. I have never had any problems with this one. I haven't had it malfunction or anything like that. But I have 
notice that if you do shoot in weird positions, like for example, uh, you're running a course of fire and you're lying down on your side uh, for a shot, sometimes in this, in this position it might uh, mess with the orientation sensor and it might pop on or off. So to illustrate what I mean by it turns off when it's past the vertical position, this is the roof. We're not quite at the vertical 90 degree position yet. We're going to move up a bit and it's off. Back down, power's on, off, on, off, on, off. Now to, to turn that feature on or off, what you do is while the unit is on, you just press the power button five times and the red indicator light will glow five times. So up here, one, two, three, four, five, I'm going to do it again so you can see it. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to turn it back off. Yeah, it's really easy to see when you're actually looking through the goggle. It's just harder to see um, when you're trying to capture it on your phone. Uh, it has to go in at a very specific angle. Same thing, except I disabled the feature. So now we're looking past the vertical position, and it's still on. I'm actually going to flip the unit completely upside down. And we're still good. There are some claims being made that the 1431 will randomly shut off for no reason. That is simply not true and the people making these claims have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. What is true though is that the BNVD 1431 has an onboard accelerometer. That accelerometer is the one that's used to detect when the unit is being flipped up and down for the auto on and off feature. Uh, what it also does is it detects inactivity. So if the tubes are powered on and the accelerometer detects no movement for a couple of minutes, it assumes that the unit was uh, left on inadvertently or, or turned on by mistake. So it automatically powers the tubes off in order to protect them from light damage. It's not going to just randomly turn off while you're using them. That's not going to happen. As with any decently designed goggle system, these have a method to control the interpupillary distance. Um, so the system that exists here is just uh, these little knobs that we have here. Um, an improvement that they have over the original Mark I 1431 is that, um, well actually I suggested it to them to add an O-ring uh, underneath so that it adds a little bit of tension otherwise they're a little bit free spinning but now they stay in place a lot better. Um, so you can see if I have them screwed in to where I like them they stop around here. If I screw this thing out all the way you'll see that there's more space for it to fold in. It is a pretty good range of adjustment, and I haven't seen a person that was unable to get uh, the range of adjustment that they needed for this. And then when you want to um, adjust the tension on the articulation, you actually just tighten or loosen these screws. My recommendation is to have them tight enough so that they're still, um, well, loose enough that they're still easy to move up and down and they're still smooth while you do it but tight enough that you can grab the bridge like this, shake it, and the tubes don't move up or down uh, because that'll stimulate what's happening while you're running because you don't want the tubes to just like bounce up and down like that as you're running uh, during a course of fire or whatever, you, whatever it is that you do uh, with your night vision goggles. When you are using the night vision goggles, if they've been assembled correctly, um, these here are your infinity stops. So what that means is uh, these lenses, you turn these for, to adjust your focus. If, when you want to adjust for as far as possible, like the, the stars or whatever, whatever, you just turn it in all the way, wherever that stops should be focused for infinity. When you want to focus closer up, you twist it out. Um, but obviously don't twist it out all the way. Like don't, once you, once you get to this point and you, and you feel that it stops, don't crank it um, because you'll break, you'll, you'll, you'll break something. Once you have that set, I would recommend also looking at your diopter assembly. So you would turn these to adjust the diopter for your eye. And that's basically all you need to know to use the BNVD 1431 Mark II. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. And if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to send me a message or drop a comment. Thank you for watching.